So no, you didn't stumble upon the same exact video I did probably, what, a month or two ago? Yeah, development moves that fast. They're doing actually active Bluetooth connections through those Bluetooth ESP home proxies, if you can say that five times fast. I know I stumble on crap all the time. So what is exactly does active mean? It means that it's a two-way street. So like, for instance, the little switch bot, you know, the little button pusher things that I still can't find a good use for. But yeah, you can just control those using Bluetooth, those Bluetooth proxies, and control them locally without having to use the cloud. All local doing Bluetooth because it's Bluetooth low energy. We don't call it Bluetooth cloud energy. That would really suck. So how do you exactly do that? Well, you can do the stuff through here with the ESP home Bluetooth proxies. You pick the device you want. Same thing. It's just going to have that added active. There's some other devices which I thought that we couldn't flash or upgrade, however you want to say it correctly, to put the actual ESP home software on them. Was the ESP... 32C3 in the ESP Solo. And thanks to COSID and a couple others, we've been working on some things on the Discord, and I have it working on all of those, and I flashed them and have them running. Actually, one of them is a Shelly. Don't know if I have it plugged in right now. I must not. Have a couple proxies. I have an ESP32 proxy. I have an ESP32C3. I have an ESP32 Power over Ethernet. Kind of the one flavor of all, almost. Now, one I haven't done, I don't know if you can do that just yet, is the ESP32S3 chip. That's that big, bad chip that has a lot of processing power. But I need to dig into more if ESP Home fully supports that chip. If you well, know, shoot me a comment down below if you have gotten that going. I did start under on my website under the home assistant section because this is kind of all home assistant ESP home. And if you look over here on the sidebar, I have a list with ESP32 YAML. All straight so you can copy it straight out of the web page. And I even did the one for the Olimex. And the big key thing is you do want to have your active Bluetooth proxy as true. Now I did the one for ESP32C3. That's going to be like, say, those switch bot plugs, bulbs. Um, you can even use Node MCU. I'm sure there's some other ESP32C3 stuff out there as well. And then you have the ESP32 Solo. That would be like those Linkine Generation 1 switches that we all got for like five bucks a piece. And then, of course, the Shelly Plus line is also ESP32 Solo. There's all the YAML stuff for you right there so you can flash it out to your devices. I know a lot of people have been asking in Discord, so I wanted to document that on my website. Then that brings us up to, well, what devices? Now, this isn't a complete set of devices. This is just ones that I know that have worked for different people and stuff and uh, personally myself in the discord is i have a list of bluetooth compatible devices now if you want to add more shoot me a comment or you can just add the page or whatever now there's all kind of little temperature sensors i think that's absolutely great for the bluetooth side of things from like the Inkbird stuff to even the little pool hot tub thermometer. I have one of those. It works great. And the same thing for this little Goofy display. I love these because they use actual AAA batteries and not coin cells. I'm not too keen on this one. I think that is a coin cell. This one here is actually, I think it's two AAAs. Don't quote me on that, but I know it's AAAs. I use rechargeable and have it in my freezer and it works, think down to like 40 degrees, no, minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And yeah, we'll convert that to Celsius up there with the Travis. We'll edit that in later. This is one thing we were looking for was lights. And because we can't find really any Tasmoda or ESP home flashable floodlights that are color and everything. Yeah, they've all switched to Beckon and all that. Well, we like to use 
something kind of straight out of the box, but no one's really making those. Now they do have those Wally's light, but that's addressable. These are pretty cool that you can just take them out the box and pair them up. And what I mean by pair them up, you plug them in because this is what happens once you had the Bluetooth proxy going. And if you're curious on how to get more of the Bluetooth proxy, I did that other video that if you want to just go through, it's pretty easy. You can do it to your like whatever device we were just talking about because Home Assistant just picks it up and you add it into your Home Assistant setup. It just pops up as a notification down here. You have something new. Now this, I have this 100 watt flood set up and you just hit configure on it. That, hit submit, and pretty much that's it. Once it's added, you can just control it with Home Assistant. You can go turn it on. You probably see it lit up behind me in full bright white fashion but we'll change it over to some red or whatever. You can see it is a very freaking bright floodlight. I know they do claim it's a hundred watt. I don't think it's that, but I'm sure it's pretty damn bright to begin with. You can see in the back behind me, I'm driving the exposure of the camera crazy, I am sure. So, especially if I did it on bright white. But pretty cool that you can just take out some LED floods and pair it up with Home Assistant with really not much effort at all. There's not a whole lot of, there's no soldering, there's no whole lot of installing stuff. I mean, besides having to do the little USB plug-in deal if you want to just do a Node MCU with the Bluetooth proxy. Pretty awesome that now they're doing all this cool active stuff so if you got some other devices that you found or that do work and do work with home assistant in this bluetooth active or even just passive proxy definitely let us know down below because i know people are always asking for like hey where what other devices can i find so as always you got any other questions come join us down in discord yep my discord channels down the link down below is just discord.digiblur.com it'll take you right there and i do appreciate all the patreon members and youtube members we definitely couldn't do it without you and yep y'all know the drill smash subscribe like do all the things and what have you dude i'm the doing the gritty the who